here we are again, guys. So, talked a lot about a lot of things. So, today I'm going to talk about my favorite, um, which has to do with consciousness. It's the law of attraction. Okay, so if you haven't heard about The Secret, um, read it, watch it, Google it, do something. Uh, but most people, they know about the law of attraction. They know that if they think about their red Mercedes every single day, uh, they're going to get it. If they, you know, if they make a goal that says, I'm going to hit $3,000 this month, um, and they're doing commission-based sales, they're going to attract that money into their life. And most people who hear about this think it's a bunch of hogwash or it's a placebo um, and that it's not something that actually happens in the universe. And so here's just one tiny little thing you can do to test the law of attraction for yourself. It's actually something that I did uh, at the beginning. You attract something into your life that you have lost. Maybe it's your cell phone, your car keys, a, a debit card, your wallet. Um, so first I'll tell you a story. So I had lost one of my iPods. It's not a not an iPod Nano, not, not one of the small ones. It's big. I mean, it was like, what, 10 gig? I don't know. I don't know what it was, but this was a while ago. This was in like 2010, 2011. And so I had lost it, and I used to work in a snow shack. And so uh, there would be hours, there would be like three hours where no one would come by. And so I was really motivated to find my iPod so that I could have something to listen to while I was waiting. I knew it was in my house. And so I scoured, I said, if it's in my house, I mean, it doesn't matter where it's hiding. If I look in every crevice of every room, I'll find it. So I checked, you know, cabinets. I, op I took everything out. I mean, destroyed couch cushions. I, I took apart entire rooms and I did it, you know, one at a time so I could, you know, if it was in which room, I never found it. And so I was like, what the crap? And then I was like, law of attraction. Why don't I do something and just let it come to me? If I know about this stuff, if I know it works, why don't I just use this tool? And so I did. And later that day, I needed a ride into um, a, another town. I was living in Smithfield at the time and I needed to go to Logan. That's uh, about 10 miles. And so I hit about five people who had cars who could give me a ride. Now out of five people, one of them could give me a ride. So that's one out of five. That's just one coincidence. He happened to be the one to answer that text to be available at the time. So he comes and picks me up and I come to the front door. He pulls in, I open it and his window was down. And I just kind of hollered at him. I said, hey, let me grab my shoes. I'll be out in just a sec. Now, most people, you know, they have their seatbelt on, their car's on. This person said they're going to come out in just a moment. They would just wait for you to come out, right? I thought it was a little odd that he got out of his car and walked inside with me. Now, my shoes, now that's coincidence number two. Because that's something that was unusual. That shouldn't have happened, but it did happen. Next thing is my shoes weren't in the entryway. They were in my room, which, you know, it could be either half and half. Sometime you take them off when you come home, you go to your room, take them off, uh, kick back, turn on the computer. Well, so my shoes happen to be in my room. That's another coincidence. And we're, you know, I'm putting them on and he's just observing his environment. And he noticed that I have a uh, old school Call of Duty game on my shelf. And that was him making a comment about something. Now, because he made that comment, him in particular, who happened to be in my room where my shoes just happened to be, made me just happen to mention, hey, did you actually see that I have the brand new Modern Warfare? I go to pull it out of my bookshelf and I kid you not, my iPod falls out. So he found my iPod. I mean, I congratulated him. He didn't know I was so excited, but I couldn't find my iPod. My ego, my desire to just scour through my entire house piece by piece to find it, even though I'm the one, my brain knew that I had put it in a case. 
in my shirt. I don't know, to hide it. I don't know why it was in there. Um, I think I had people coming over and I didn't want it to get stolen. So I just dropped it off somewhere secret. I don't know why it was in there. But I wouldn't have found it or until I played that game, which probably wouldn't have happened. Um, but it was because of him and... I attribute it fully to the law of attraction because I sent something out into the universe to attract it into my life and because of coincidences that were beyond my control, I was led to that instance. So that's something really small that I know you guys can do. Uh, if you want to know my personal technique, put a link on the next video um, for you guys to watch. I got two methods I use um, or you can just do a quick Google search learn more about it, I highly recommend it, it's something that's very cool and a lot of people um, in business, just in, in the world of success, they don't call it law of attraction always, but they use it regardless. So, um, like always, I hope you guys have a great day. Adios.